Hello, my name is Robbie Little and I work as a cloud computing consultant for Deloitte. The term cloud consultant is quite broad, but, but basically what that means is I perform consulting activities in relation to cloud technologies and solutions. So um, yeah, I mean, in a, in a nutshell, um, I do a lot of talking, uh, I do a lot of presentations in order to come up with tangible solutions to meet the client needs. I'm very, very much a people person. Um, it's a client facing role. So I guess one of the main things that I love about my job is the engagement and interaction. You know, I get to meet lots of new people from different assignments, which is great um, as that allows me to build my network. Um, I also work with a fantastic team here in Belfast. Um, and I think within cloud and consulting in general actually um, it's always evolving and therefore there's always something new to challenge yourself with and develop further. I was actually I actually worked in the hospitality industry and I think I was about 17 at the time yeah I was in school and um, but back then you know I remember being so nervous and not being able to pronounce things on the menu and like communicating that back to like the you know like the chefs or like the customers and you know it's funny looking back now because I was so hard on myself I used to overanalyze things so so much and but my friends you know I didn't really share that with too many people so looking back I probably should have been more open and honest but people used to say to me like oh you know you're, you're so naturally like going and coughing you know you'd be great at that job but um, that wasn't the case because whenever you meet new people and particularly dealing with the public or talking to new audience in general you know it can be very very hard and you know and that's where your nerves start to kick in and as I say all the time um, it's all part of the journey and I think without putting yourself in those difficult situations you're never going to really develop. So of course you're going to stumble. That's 100%, that will happen, but you can't let it stop you, you know. I think you have to look forward and it's all about building that confidence. <coughs> this is a really, really good question actually. I think first of all is not to stress. I think control the controllables. And what I mean by that is it's all about how you control it. It's how you manage it. And actually growing up, I was actually quite shy, you know. Um, I was confident around my friends and like in school or whatever, but I think when it came to things like speaking in in a seminary or if a teacher had asked me to read out an English class, this was my worst nightmare. I hated it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's important actually to stress that your stammer is actually never going to go away. However, um, if you develop it by like putting yourself in these situations, your confidence will grow, and I can assure you that it will. Um, you know, and I and you know what? It doesn't even have to be doing presentations or public speaking. Um, it could be everyday things like um, speaking over the phone to arrange appointments or ordering your takeaway over the phone at the weekend instead of doing it online or through apps. I think these are all typical, typical examples that stammers actually tend to avoid, um, but in the long term it will help. Don't let it di dictate your future. Um, you know, as you progress into adulthood anyway, you become more naturally confident in yourself as a person, you know, as you grow up. So um, if you want to be an actor or if you want to be a presenter or have an office based job or whatever it may be, don't let it have an impact on your career and just go for it. You know, so it's difficult for me to pinpoint one specific achievement as such. For me, it's definitely been a continuous journey um, with some key milestones along the way, you know, as I've mentioned before. Um, get my first job and then move to England for uni. Um, I actually knew a lot of people at uni at the time, but I didn't know anyone on my course. So that was something that I had to adapt to. And a lot of my uni work involved group work and teamwork and presentations. So um, yeah, those are all experiences that have 
probably steered me in the direction that I'm working in now in consulting. Um, don't try not to overanalyze things. Um, don't be hard on yourself. You know, um, it it will work out. Um, just keep plugging away and don't let it dictate your future because at the end of the day, that's that's what it is. And you know, it's it's how you, you, you it's how you actually control it. So don't be too hard on yourself. And yeah, that's what I would say.